Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, which VPNs truly respect your privacy by not inundating their websites and services with um, ad trackers and cookies. So I kind of got inspired by this really good blog post TorGuard just made uh, featuring this tool called black light basically what this tool does is it's kind of like exodus or these tools i've been using on android to look at trackers and stuff like that in applications this one instead is more based around um, the internet websites of the vpns that we'll be looking at so i'm going to take a look at most of the popular rated vpns and i'm also going to be looking at vpns in my rvp to see which ones can pass the blacklight test if you want to support the video and buy some of these vpns that, that pass the blacklight test i'll be posting those in the description and comment down below all right guys let's go ahead and see who passes the blacklight test so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some of my tier one VPNs and see if any of them pass the test. That will be interesting to see. So first up, we're going to be doing TorGuard.net and see if it does pass the test. So according to Blacklight, TorGuard has zero um, Android, has zero ad tracker, zero third party cookies, and 800% does pass the test. Next up, we're going to be looking at WeVPN.com. And I already looked at this one and they do have some ad trackers. Um, I talked to Zero about it. He said some of it's like Google ad stuff and those kind of trackers. So unfortunately, WeVPN does not pass the blacklight test. Still a really solid VPN though. Um, just has a little bit of work to do here. Next up, we can look at Cactus VPN. Not sure why there was an issue there. Let's try doing this. And there we go. So Cactus VPN actually did really well. Only having one ad tracker on the website which is pretty good. Um, zero third-party cookies and all this stuff um, not found tracking you either. So overall, very strong. Good job, Cactus. Next up, we have privatevpn.com. Let's see if it works like that, if I don't have to put the HTTPS. Um, there we go. So privatevpn does have four ad trackers, which isn't the best, but it does have zero cookies and some of the stuff. So it looks like ExpressVPN has five ad trackers three third-party cookies, and it also tells Facebook when you visit the website and has Google Analytics. So that's definitely concerning. Let's try some other popular ones that people recommend a lot. NordVPN, seven ad trackers, four third-party cookies, and it tells um, Google Analytics. At least it doesn't tell Facebook. Um, let's try CyberGhost. Let's see how they do. So interestingly enough, CyberGhost does not have any ad trackers, third-party cookies, or any of this stuff, but it does have trackers on your computer that are designed to evade third-party cookie blockers. That's concerning. So canvas fingerprinting. Identify users even if they block cookies. We can look up something like PureVPN. It has three ad trackers, two third-party cookies, could be monitoring keystrokes and mouse clicks, and it has Google Analytics. Uh-oh. Let's look up Surfshark, another popular one out there. Four at five ad trackers, five third-party cookies, and Google Analytics. We take a look at private internet access. It's actually good to see that it does pass blacklight having none of this stuff, which is actually pretty good. We take a look at something like IP Vanish. They have probably the most on this list so far. 12 ad trackers, nine third-party cookies. It could evade your cookies, capturing keystrokes, Facebook integration, and Google Analytics. Yikers. So guys, in conclusion, these are the VPNs that pass the blacklight test. I'll be putting them right above my finger. If you guys want to go to this website and test out the VPNs or any other website, feel free to do so. I'll be also putting the link to this website down in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I thought this was an interesting test to see which VPNs have ad trackers and some of these things they probably shouldn't. Um, I'll see you in the next video very soon.